on the stadium. Time to target 30 seconds. Copy. All shadows, this net. Listen up. In the last 24, Allegiance intercepted comms traffic coming from the stadium. Source of that chatter may be Victor Zakayev himself. We roll this bastard up. There'll be bonuses all around. Stand by. Lurch to Rose. You ready to start this fire? Always. You know that. That's what I like to hear. How about some fireworks? <laughs> Wait till you hear this. Fuse is lit. Let's let ourselves in. Copy. Wow, now that is an opening cinematic. I am looking forward to this new season. That's you know, that's what you need to kick off a season. I got rust vibes from that. That was good. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so season five player rank reset. Boo hoo. Sad times. Your boy got 155. I've got 155 on every goddamn season, even season zero, which is a weird name. I don't know why they call it season zero, but yeah, I got 155 on all of them. So season five, which could be potentially rumored to be the last season of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I will definitely be getting 155 on this bad boy. So the Master Chief. Rank 1 at rank 56. And then season rewards for unlocking the rewards of 155. You get the 5 star general. Dawn to Dusk submachine gun SMG variant for the Vector. I think it's the Vector. Let's go and check what is happening. So the dance map overview. That's the same. Supply boxes. We've seen them before. The battle pass. Skip your next 20 tiers. Get the Battle Pass bundle for the instant Season 5 rewards. Shadow Company Operator Lurch. Skins and 10% off Season 5 XP boost. Ooh. You get a Scar H and a Custom Renetti, I think, with that bundle as well, straight off the bat. So let's get into it. Okay. Oh, ready? Ooh, okay. So already, different loading screen for Warzone. This is the inside of Stadium. I think, looking at the football posters behind us, this could be the inside of Stadium. And we got different missions, of course, different stuff. So we got Mini Royale. So a fast-paced Battle Royale in condensed areas of Verdansk. Mini Royale, I like that. That's kind of cool. Fast-paced, action, love that. Happy days, normal Battle Royale modes. All the modes are here. Oh, what's that? BR buyback solos? What? Oh, it's kind of like... um. It's kind of like stimulus. It's kind of like stimulus, but in solos. But a bit a BR, I don't know what that would be. Buyback solos. I'll have to try that out. I'm looking forward to this, though. I'm looking forward to this. Mini Royale. I like the sound of that. That's cute. That's cute. That's, that's hot. That's nice. So there's the bundle. Oh, damn! Damn! Look at all these characters. Lurch in the middle there, being a badass. We got an awesome Rose skin to his right. I think that's a Milsim skin on the left. We have this cool character there in the back. I like her. The far is that the far right hand side? Nice hair on that one. She got cool hair going on there with that raven behind her. And the guy, the, is that a guy or a girl on the left? I don't know. The far left with that weird little, weird little flop haircut. I don't know, but that's funny. So we got the phantom pistol, the gallows machine gun, the conduit, which is that weird looking SMG. That's a weird looking gun, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Cult Classic Vessel. Oh, that's the Battle Pass. So, we're going to continue for now and have a look. So, instantly we get three different variants for for the Behemoth, <laughs> which is known as Lurch. I like that. That's a cool name for Behemoth. This, I love how this guy and Mara, I think a few other people like Ronan as well, are all based off real life people. 
who are like into like military stuff. So that's really interesting. Like Mara, I I didn't even realize Mara was a real person, but she streams and she's a YouTuber. And like I think Lurch is the same. I don't think that's his name in real life, obviously. But he, yeah, this dude is actually based off a real man, and he he is like a unit. So it's cool to see him in the game. We get the, an instant skin for this dude. Some different a juggernaut pack, different music tracks for the car. I can't. Don't worry, I'm not hearing any audio for that either. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that would be. Instant XP, a new free gun, which I don't think that's the new gun yet. I don't think. I think that's just a variant. Awesome knuckle dusters. If you can get that as a melee weapon, I am in. On that calling card. Cool looking sort of tactical knife. The Black Adder. Yeah, this cool. Is this a milsim or a different sort of skin? There you go. There's the first, there's the first big weapon we get. The ISO. Now... I have mild dyslexia, so I'm probably going to call this the iOS, which I know is a phone. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'll try my best. The ISO submachine gun. Now, this is like the MP7 and the uh, Uzi had a baby, and this does look very nice. So there's Mara. There she is. Told you. She always finds a way to make an appearance in these updates. She's awesome. I don't know the girl's name in real life, but she's she's got a cool YouTube channel. What's this? What is this? Finishing move, the Raven finishing move. Yo, that looks sick, you know. New sniper rifle for the Barrack 50 cal. Little Raven charm there, that's cute, I like that. All the different shotguns, little awesome operator skins. I love the little animated calling cards. That one's cool. Wait, are you telling me, like, what? is that Mara with Lurch? Is, is that me, Mara, as part of Shadow Company? All this time? No. Get out of here. Get out of here. Mara is not part of Shadow Company. I don't believe it. I mean, I mean, how can you go wrong with that trim? Honcho trim. I love it. I love that. That's a nice sniper. That's a nice looking skin. Who's this dude? Oh, this is the guy. Pursuit specialist. Looks like Tom Cruise from bloody Top Gun. Oh, Terminator. Oh, kind of Terminator vibes with that jacket. I don't know. Awesome. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Awesome skins. Awesome weapons, awesome calling cards. Whoa, that is actually a pretty sick skin for my boy Talon. Talon got a lot of good skins. That's a good one. I like that one. I like that camo as well. Oh, that camo is nice. <laughs> Little lurch um, bobblehead there for your gun. Then the conduit variant for the new ISO. We got new sprays, new shotguns. Oh, yo, what's she? I remember her. What's she called? She was the girl who came in the last season. Before on Rose. Oh, was it? I like that girl. I like, yeah, Iskra, that's her name. That is a cool trim. I like that. That is a cool operator. I'll be rocking that operator. What's this one? A little Rose bobblehead. Oh, different variants for Rose. Looking pretty cool. Called Rook there. Is that Rose? I think that's... Yeah, it's got Rose's emblem and stuff on it. And then we get the Company Midnight. So wait, did I miss the new machine gun at some point? Is it this? Is this the new machine gun? No, it can't be. No, it's not. This is a different variant of a lightweight machine gun. I don't know. But yeah, we'll probably we'll probably pick up that, that season pass. We'll pick up that season pass. So instantly, boom, you get this. And you get the battle pass. No, that, I'm going to get the battle pass bundle though. Because it's on sale right now. Got new stuff in the store. Who's this dude? <laughs> Little ghillie suit here. Looking awesome. Looking cool. Little alligator themed. Oh, the eternal samurai. You boy. No. <laughs> Getting on with Ghost of Tsushima over here with this katana. Your boy's quite a Chinese. Your boy got to pick up this. Look at that. Look at that. I said it. When did I say it? When Ronin came out. What was that? Season 3? Season 3 when Ronin came out. He had these two sick swords in his hand. And I was like, yo, where are these in game? We got knives. We got axes. We got now sticks. Where the hell's the double bladed katana swords? If you can dual wield this sword, I will scream. I will actually die. I've needed this. I have said this for ages. And I'm glad it's in the goddamn game. Oh, I'll be picking that up, definitely. Twin Dragon Pack, we've already seen that before. We've already seen this before. 
all these we've seen before apart from this new one here. Oh, that's a scary looking skin. We've seen that in the trailer. Season 5 trailer. That is a terrifying little skin there. I like that. I like that a lot. What's this? The silver. Is it? Yeah, the silver. Yeah, kind of nice. Kind of nice. I like that. I like that sniper. I like the wood uh, on snipers. Like, oh, that's nice. Don't look, Tom. You'll buy it. Don't look. Don't look or you'll buy it. Again, following the Ghost of Tsushima sort of uh, idea there with the with the samurai ninja warrior type stuff. Anything else new in the store? No, all this is pretty done and normal. Okay. So, first thing we're going to... Oh, wait. Shit. Before we buy anything, hopping onto multiplayer. Super quick. Let's make sure we haven't missed anything. Okay. So, we got... Oh, sorry. I just had a swig of tea. That is needed. We got new ground war maps. We know that's airport and we know that it's uh, farmland for another area. That's we've seen this before. That's cool. We got new gunfight maps and we got new ground war maps. We got the new maps oil rig and harbor 24 7. Face off at livestock. That's the different map as well. And double down search and destroy, which is at harbor, I believe. But if we go here, custom games, and uh, we don't want to start a custom game just yet. Unless, ooh, unless we can look at the new weapons. So, they've not added any snipers. The intervention, sad times, ladies and gentlemen, the intervention's not here. This is the new SMG. There's the new SMG. Okay, so there's the new SMG. We'll pop that on. They added the new... Oh, you can't get this! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that looks nice. Yeah, boy, he's getting that gold. You, you know, you, you know, your boy's getting that gold. <laughs> Those katanas cannot wait. So this SMG, let's look at the ISO. The ISO doesn't have anything too crazy. Some pretty average-looking stocks here. I'm gonna probably go for the collapsed one. I'm just gonna nothing new on the perks area. Kind of go leave the perk off. We got this. We got the elite. And we got that. That kind of elite one takes for the stipple grip. So I guess we'll put that on. We got the 30 clip mag. Or the 50 drum mag. Looking pretty nice. It's kind of like the Vector, the MP7 and the Uzi had a baby. And this is what it produced. Scopes. We got nothing weird on the scopes department, I don't think. Pretty cool little barrel. Oh, that's a pretty nifty little barrel. And I'm making it a bit, a bit different there. That is definitely very Vectory. That and that are very Vectory to me. Kind of a little bit more MP7-ish vibes I'm getting with that one. It's just a little extension. But I'm actually going to leave it off. Put the monolithic on. And under barrel, maybe put like the... There, put that on it. There you go. Nothing too crazy, to be fair. Looks pretty average. Looks pretty normal. I don't think there's anything to try and make a third class with it. It's not like the big machine guns where you can have loads of different rigs for it. So Let's try and do maybe, I don't know. Let's try and make the longest one possible. So yeah, you can put the... Uh, oh wait, was that... There you go. I was, I was on the wrong weapon then. Let's put the longest barrel possible on it. And kind of try and do like a sniper SMG type thing. Where's the most snipery scope we can get for it? Probably that. And then a uh, nice big sniper stock. Probably that. And then... Uh, yeah, 30. 30 round mag. And a little thing there. So there you go. So yeah, you can make it look pretty weird. <laughs> and you can you can just try them out. I didn't want to give them a will out of multiplayer, but I think I think for the time being we probably will. Just 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 to see what it's what it's worth. Maybe maybe give them a bit of a will in the custom lobby whilst we've got them for free. We will earn them obviously throughout the course of this stream. And then there's their new AN-94. If you're a fan of Black Ops games, you'll have seen this gun before. This old little uh, Black Ops gun here. We should all be quite familiar with. I do believe I'm correct in saying it came out in Black Ops. I'm going to have a lot of very angry people. <laughs> if I didn't, if I get that wrong. No new handguns, no new launchers. But the new melee weapon there, the new double katanas. I know they're not labelled katanas, but God damn it, I'll be calling them that. And then uh, do one more AK class. Oh, AN-94 class. AN-94, it's kind of like the 
a sort of weird AK. It's a weird looking barrel. What's that? Do the monolithic. I like to do an average one and like a very quick portable one. So kind of like the fold stock look. We saw a weapon that is definitely going to end up coming later down the line, which is going to have a big drum magazine. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's going to be. Obviously, we don't put perks on it because we don't want to. We don't want to cheat the system here. We've got different barrels, so we can make the barrel smaller. Is that barrel smaller than the other one? Oh no, that barrel's the smallest one. There we go. So yeah, you see kind of how how I do it. It's like I get the plain one, I make a small fast version, I make a big bulky version, and that's kind of like a way I do a medium test. So that's the base. Um, AN94, that is the fast paced one, and then we'll bulk this one up and try and make it as stocky as possible. So heavy, oh, yeah, I'm going to go heavy. Heavy stock, see if we can put, oh, that's a cool new scope, the PSO thermal scope, we've not seen that before. That's a new attachment for a gun, where's the longest barrel we can do? Big long barrel. Uh, let's do monolithic again. Put that stock on this time. We got some. We got some mad underbarrel stuff going on here. No, not really. Pretty average AK underbarrels, to be fair. Go on, we'll uh, we'll whack that on instead of the forty round clip. Then there you go. So now you got like a bit more of a bulky uh, sniper version. You got the little fast paced version. You got the little standard things like that. So yeah, we'll give these a whirl. Um, and we'll get to show you the new maps as well. Start DS match. What's that? Dedicated server. Ah, oh, fair enough. That's that's new. Change the map. Let's go and see if they've added the new maps in. There's oil rig. There's livestock. Kind of like farm from Warzone a little bit. There's livestock. Oil rig. Obviously, I've seen Piccadilly, Pine. None of these are new. Harbour. Then Miss Harbour, maybe. Let me scroll down. Harbour, Harbour, Harbour. Where are you? Harbour, Harbour, Harbour. Maybe Harbour's. Is Harbour not on here? Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's a new Harbour map. So, yeah, it's tucked away there. Sul Dalal Harbour. Sorry if I pronounced that terrible. But <laughs> there's harbour, um, tucked away there. We got oil rig, and we've got livestock. Oil rig looks like my favourite one, to be fair. So I'm gonna go oil rig. I'm gonna say team deathmatch, standard team deathmatch. Put the timer on unlimited, just so we've got enough time for testing. Put the score pretty high up, or unlimited. Leave everything else normal, as you can see, it's normal TDM. Bot set up, I'll put six enemy bots on, leave them on regular. And operator. I don't think it gives you the operators unless you've got them. Oh look, there you go, yeah. So Shadow Company. So she Rose has been moved into Shadow Company now and she has her own different variants, which are very scary and very cool. And then we got Lurch and we got what's it called? Velankin. Velankin? Velikin? I'm, I'm dyslexic, Call of Duty. Why you got a bully, you boy? All right, there you go. Yeah. That cool dude. Uh, we're going to be Price. Just because... Yeah, Mara, you stay on Warcon. Okay, Warcon. Okay? You're not You're not Shadow Company. You are a good person. Okay, we're going to be Price. Uh, we're going to have my little snowy dog <laughs> from from ages ago. Uh, nah, we should put Price with Riley, to be fair. How do we put Price with Riley? Forget how to do that. Customize. There we go. Um, I can't believe I unlocked as well all of the Captain Priced, uh, Captain Price skins in season four as well. So I was buzzing for that. All right, let's play as Price now. Let's start match. So we're gonna get to see what oil rigs like, and we're gonna test out both the new guns. Already, this game is doing bits compared to how it did. I felt so good about season two and three 
Kind of got a bit deflated around the middle of Season 3. Season 4 really let me down in a horrendous way. Apart from Price and Gaz being added in, I was really disheartened and really upset about the season and how it ended up. But I've come on today and they've done a, they've done a great job. They've really done a great job. With what I've seen so far, doesn't mean I'm not going to be able to criticise later down the line if they do anything else wrong. But for now, I'm liking what I'm seeing. A lot of people when they review things like games and updates and DLCs and things, they start at like zero and work the way up. I always like to go into everything as a 10 and then let it work its way down the scale. So right now it's, it's at a good 7 because we've not seen everything it's got to offer yet. But it's a good 7 and that's a fantastic place to start this early on in the review. So right now it's hitting a strong 7 from me. Oil rig looks like it's going to be a pretty big map considering I didn't think it was going to be this big but it's kind of nice that we got a big area to play around with here. It's quite unique as well. Maybe this wasn't the best map for a quick little gun test. Some, there is some cool machinery going on here. Oh god. We've taken the lead. Already? Like, that was a quick drop on that guy. This SMG thing is pretty damn sexy. Ooh, that was my bad aim. I do apologize for the gun. That was not the gun's fault. I need to specify. That was my crap aim. <laughs> I did that. But yeah, this gun's kind of weird if I just... Hopefully there's no enemies. That's me holding it all the way down. Kind of good. You know, it's kind of a what you what it's what you get, like what you expect really with a, with a good SMG. I quite like quite like it. Feel like once I kit it out, I find a, a little cell that works well. With it. <laughs> it does run out of ammo fairly quick though. Oh, look at this! Your boy is like dead. That's amazing. They're using the gear on me. Yeah, yeah, I got a bit distracted with the katanas then. <laughs> But yeah, I like the katanas. <laughs> Those katanas are good. Alright, so now we've got the drum mag, the collapsible stock, and the monolithic suppressor. This gun's going to be a very big beast in Warzone if people find the... the set. Oh my god. <laughs> Veteran bots? The um, This gun's going to be really, really good in Warzone. I can tell people are going to find the little sweet spots to put on it, and the, the way they're going to use this correctly will just be really, really smooth. When you see like the gun nerds getting their hands onto this. I'm not talking and playing very well. I need to shut up and just play the game. But <laughs> this map is very spread out and I don't want to cover what I'm doing. Oh my god. <laughs> get trashed. Yo, your boys had no sleep. <laughs> I don't care. I'm pulling out all the stops. I woke up at goddamn 6 o'clock in the morning and went to bed at 3. Just to get this out early for your faces. So you better be appreciating what I'm doing for you. Getting low-key narcolepsy from staying up this late. God's sake. Right, let's just take it into multiplayer. Let's just go into multiplayer. This map's too big and I'm not doing this well. Goddamn. Need to calm these dudes down. Nah, maybe I'm taking it back. I don't know if this is performance over the gun. I don't know what it is. I don't want to instantly blame the gun, but it does do people. It does put people away quickly when you when you're bloody good with it. <laughs> I think if someone was a lot better than me, they would do a lot better with it. But it's a, it's a good gun. It does hit people hard, especially when you get the drop on people like that. This map's gonna be so weird to play on multiplayer. Because of just like how big it is. I wonder if Harbour's a bit smaller. I thought this was gonna replace shipment, but definitely it can't because of the size, it's huge. Copy, 
Jaguar 3-0 in route for personal radar coverage. Quick double kill there. Is bingo fuel recalling to base. I'll just say the main problem with this gun is yeah, the bullets get chewed up really quickly. Like the bullets get eaten fast. And obviously it can go into full auto or burst. Oh, not burst, sorry, full auto or semi. But yeah, I do think the bullets just get chewed up really quick. So that would be a problem for in And that was with like the big full blow, you know, position. drum magazine Copy. attachment. Let's try the sniper variant and see if it could. That's sort of sniper slash machine gun, I guess. If you put it in single, it could be a sniper. Pending, if your aim was good with it. But, uh. Maybe it's like a universal weapon, like a weapon that you can rig up to be like a small, quick, get out of a trouble situation. I do like it as the assault rifle variant, but I've made it into I think I'm on a winner here. This could be the sweet spot. I love guns in Call of Duty, just in general, like getting to experiment with the what, what, what sight and what scope and what barrel and what, what stock. Like, when you get the... When you get the sweet spot on a rig working, it is, it is nice. It is nice to get a good groove with the gun. So at the minute, when I get this gun on multiplayer, and I get it max level, I'm going to be going for this type of variant. Maybe a little bit of a faster variant with the stock maybe being shortened, I don't know. But I was having a little bit more success. Obviously, I'm going to factor in sleep deprivedness and just slow reaction speed a little bit because that's not the gun's fault but uh yeah definitely definitely liking what i'm seeing with this like this variant i'm gonna have to make a note of, of this, this setup because we're putting away people really well Got killed there with the katanas as well. Nice, nice, nice. Enemy Copy. Jaguar 3-0 in route for personal radar coverage. Ah, I got a merciless. Yeah, I got a little feed there with the katanas. They look nice. They look nice. Let's go for this new assault rifle then. So, everyone assumed that this was going to be burst. But the only two I'm seeing right now is full auto and single. Like an average normal assault rifle. Okay, that was kind of weird. I got a headshot with the first kill. It does have a weird barrel, like, movement. When you shoot it. It's got a very invasive stock. Can you aim down the side? Does it get Does put away people quite, quite quickly? It's a fast, fast time to kill. Oh god, oh god. No, no, no. Ah, oh, sad. I had no idea where he was. <laughs> yeah, if you kind of try and get someone where they're not going to kill me. Flat wall. Kind of, it's hard to kind of see from the front. If you had a friend standing next to you, you might be able to do it a little bit easier. You might be able to see it a little bit better, but it does definitely have this sort of weird, like, barrel momentum. Is that the... Like, 
kind of purposely kicks the barrel back and forth as it fires. Which I don't know if that's good. I mean, it could be. It could be fairly good. Maybe that's new and improved. <laughs> he threw a thermite at me and he hit himself. <laughs> oh, that's class. Oh, I could have had a... Oh, I could have had a feed. Okay, okay. Standard. Kind of like that, but I want a little bit better. I am an assault rifle man at the end of the day. I do like the SMGs. I do appreciate the SMGs. Like, no lie, the SMGs in the game. All of them I've loved. It's not been a bad SMG I've, I've not liked. But I am a bit of an assault rifle man myself. Just more robust. And I like that. And this, oh my god, with the collapsed stock and the dead silent combo of the the short and barrel monolithic suppressor. Oh. Oh, get, that get that double, get it! Yes, beauty. About that, something about this gun feels right in my hand. Something about this feels good. Requesting recon on my position. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't think since day one any gun could replace my love for the M4A1, but I think I think I found my new main. This is a good gun. And when you burst it as well, it's kind of got that kick to it. Oh, I'm liking it, you know. I am liking this gun. <laughs> I saw it in the trailer and I did take the piss a little bit. I didn't know if I was going to like it that much, but I'm impressed. Papa Om likes what he sees. Copy. Jaguar 3-0 in route for personal radar coverage. Enemy at the bridge. Risk it, risk it for a biscuit. It was worth it. It was worth it. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> Got that katana killed though, so that was fun. Let's have a look at this baby then. So, obviously, full O with a sniper rifle is never a good. Oh, but that new scope though! That new scope though! That looked good! I'm sorry, I didn't even know I had the new scope. Hang on a second. Oh, I feel like Predator. Literally Predator right now. A predator heat vision. <gasps> Again. Puts people away nicely. Carry on. Enemy at the freedom. My turn. Minimalist Postal recoil as well. It puts people away quick, this gun. Let's see what it's like in single shot. Friendly recons online. Copy. Gonna put the dead silence on. Very, very efficient single shot. Personal radar for Enemy. Got a personal radar drone ready for escort. <laughs> This is all in the single as well. That was all in the single. That, that, that little bloodthirsty then. You know what? I'm liking it. Out of the two guns, I definitely, I don't know, you know, I just, I do like this gun. I like this as a sniper and I think it could Requesting go really well position. with Copy. the close Jaguar quarter vector type, you know, the ISO we made. Hmm, <laughs> hmm,
You could do it, yeah. I think that could be a really good combo. This one and the and the iOS. Um, short hand that we made, and then the the like what was it? The medium version of this gun we made with the really big version of the iOS. Puts people away. Alright, I'm probably gonna die because I'm gonna, I'll go AFK as such, but I'm gonna expect to be killed. Because I'm gonna try and do this. Where do we go for the collapsed stock? Where's the collapsed one? Folded stock, there we go. And then we use the stipple grip. The monolithic. And... What else? Sixty round mag. Calling for recon. Copy. Jaguar 3-0 in route for personal radar coverage. I'm going to have that. I'm going to put overkill. Get the SMG back. I'm going to put that awesome sort of big barrel on it. The thicker stock. Personal radar has been shot down. We've lost Overwatch. Scope. Just, I think... Alright, there we go. So this would be the class. I would most likely rock. Is this, I like this, I like this machine gun in all three states. Maybe a little less the default state, but that's just common sense. You're not gonna like a default variant over the Copy. main route. Zero in route for personal coverage. But look at that though. That was nice. I think I found my dream setup for these Who two. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> I do like that. That is a class gun. Look at this, you get that, you get that. Hip fire, hip fire, switch it up, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, I've given 40 minutes there of uh, content of what my first impressions were of Season 5. And in the past, you can go back and watch my other season reviews and breakdowns. I've been very cynical, very critical, very exact to the point of what I like and dislike about the updates. As I said in the first part of this review, Season 7, 
Oh, season, sorry, season 5 gets a 7 out of 10 for now. And that score can go up or down depending on my experience with the rest of the season. So, I score season 4 now that it's over. I score that in its entirety a solid 5, nearly a 6 out of 10. Um, it just let me down at the beginning. The launch was delayed. It was very boring. It was very slow paced. There was lots of problems. Uh, but this one seems to have come out of left field and been a remarkable improvement. Uh, I'm going to make this digestible for you guys who watch the stream and who watch on YouTube. Obviously, my YouTube channel, Tom Origins, is where I upload the majority of my content. So please check me out there. If you're a fan on, on Twitch, please check me out on Tom Origins. Um, I will now have a brief intermission where I will stop this recording on, on stream upload the 40 minutes we've got so far onto my youtubers sort of a breakdown part one my first impressions part one and uh then i will resume my next stream and we will ha that'll be quite lengthy so that'll probably be broken down instead of uploaded as one full uh sort of update but we're gonna get the season pass and do a bit more of the war zone and the multiplayer in the next part of this but this first bit was showing you the new maps uh showing you what Everything is the opening cutscene, what all the new operator skins are going to be, what the roadmap for the entire season looks like for now that we have the information on and showing you my personal opinion for what is the best loadout that you can get for your class when it comes to these two new weapons. And that is this, this machine gun here. I'll definitely do an in-depth video on this. But that machine gun set up there for the AN-94 and looking pretty awesome there this collapsible stock and this loadout for the new ISO the machine submachine gun that is it so that is my opinion on the two best setups you can have for the classes these will be the exact classes I'll replicate for my online class but uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, comment, and ding dong the notification bell for more videos. Uh, part two will be getting filmed and uploaded ASAP. And um, I might have to break it down a little bit shorter than the 40. I mean, yeah, break them down because the stream is going to be a much longer than 45 minute stream. So I can upload this as its entirety. And then um, we'll get back starting with multiplayer and Warzone content in the next part of my review. But as it stands right now, 7 out of 10 season five so far thanks for watching the stream i've been your host tom origins thanks for watching the youtube video subscribe to the channel follow on twitch do all that good stuff in the links down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out see you guys soon